Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome to another What's for Dinner on WW. My husband and I are on WW Green, but as always, I will be giving the points for not only the green plan, but the blue and purple plan as well for these meals. Now this week was all about fall comfort food. I made some of my fall favorites, two of which are in the crock pot, but these are all just some of my fall favorites. I have actually done separate videos on all of these before, so I'll go ahead and link the individual videos down in the description box below of this one. And in those videos, you can find the full list of ingredients and the full instructions on how to make these. But let's jump in here and see what we had this week for dinner. First up is crock pot chicken and dumplings. I absolutely love this one. And for the dumplings, I use the two ingredient pizza dough that I absolutely love too. So this one starts off with some chicken broth, some cream of chicken soup, and that's low fat cream of chicken soup, a little bit of fresh ground pepper, some granulated garlic, some sage, and then some chopped celery and chopped red onion. You're gonna give that all a real good stir. And then you're gonna add in two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You're gonna put the lid on this and cook it on high for about four hours or until that chicken is cooked. I make my dumplings out of the two ingredient dough, which is a cup of self-rising flour and a cup of fat-free Greek yogurt. I'm also adding a little bit of dried parsley to this. In the video I did, I used fresh, which is better, but I didn't have any, so I used dry. If you're using dry instead of fresh, you wanna use about a third of what you would use fresh. And then I just mix all that together really well until it looks like this. I used to need it, but I don't anymore. Once your chicken is cooked, you're gonna remove it and then you're going to shred it up. And I just do this by using two forks and it works pretty well. Then you're gonna take that chicken, add it back in along with a bag of frozen mixed vegetables that you've let defrost mostly. Then you're gonna just stir that all together real well. And I thought I was recording here, but I was not. And um, what I did here was I just took that dough and I dropped it in by one to two teaspoonfuls down in the soup, just kind of spreading it out. And then you're gonna just go ahead and cover that back up and continue to cook on high for another 30 minutes or so until it looks like this. And here is a serving of that. Now a serving is gonna be an eighth of the total or about two cups. This is gonna be seven points on green and it is only three points on blue and purple. So pretty low on blue and purple. And this stuff is very, very good. It's filling, it's classic comfort food, and it's just a perfect meal for fall time. Next up is broccoli cheese soup and corn dog muffins. This soup is one of my favorites and has been for a very long time because not only is it really low in points, but it's very flavorful and it's just really satisfying. This one starts off with a large pot that you're gonna spray with a little bit of cooking spray. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I usually do. And then to that pot, you're gonna add in some chopped red onion, chopped celery, and chopped carrots. And then you're gonna just cook those in there until those onions start to soften. Next, you're gonna add in some chopped potato, a little bit of garlic, and then you're gonna cook that in there for about another minute or two. You're then gonna add in a little bit of flour, dry mustard, smoked paprika, and nutmeg. And then you're gonna just stir that in there for another couple minutes. And then add in some chicken broth and a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. You can add salt to this if you want. We typically do not. There's enough sodium from the chicken broth. Then you're gonna give this a good stir let it come to a boil, cover it, turn down the heat, and let this continue to simmer while you occasionally stir it for about 10 minutes. You're then gonna add in your broccoli. You're gonna give that a good stir, cover it again, and let it continue to simmer until that broccoli is softened. You're then gonna remove some of the vegetables and you're gonna take a masher and you're gonna mash those up. You're then going to return them back to the soup, stir them in, and then add in some cheese. And you're gonna just stir this cheese until it's melted. And then at that point, you're gonna turn off the heat and you're going to stir in some 
fat-free Greek yogurt. You could use fat-free sour cream if you want also. And then that is it. And here is dinner tonight. That is a serving of that soup, which is just over a cup. It makes roughly six servings of over a cup. And it is gonna be three points on green and blue and just two on purple for the soup. And then along with that, we also had some of these corn dog muffins. I did a separate video on these muffins and I'll hopefully have that up soon, but these are gonna be three points a piece on all three colors. So dinner tonight is six points for green and blue and five on purple. Next up is crock pot sausage and potato soup. This is another crock pot meal, which I love and it's very family friendly. Actually, all of these are very family friendly. My son loves them all, but he especially loves this one. This one starts off with a large frying pan and you're gonna cook your turkey sausage and chopped red onions in that. And you just wanna cook those until those onions are softened and that turkey sausage has a little bit of a browning going on. Now you could skip this step entirely if you want to, but I think it adds a lot of additional flavor to this. So I always do this. Next, I add in a little bit of garlic and I let that cook in there for about a minute or so or until it's fragrant. And then I'm gonna take all of it and I'm going to put it in my crock pot, followed by some chopped up potatoes, chicken broth, frozen corn, and then I'm gonna mix that together and then add a little bit of crushed black pepper to that, stir that in, put the lid on it, and cook on low until those potatoes are softened. Once your potatoes are softened, you're gonna take a little bit of cornstarch, mix it in with some fat-free milk, and then you're gonna pour that into your soup, stir it in real well, cover, and cook another 30 to 40 minutes or so until that soup thickens up just a little bit. And then you're gonna add in some low-fat cheese, stir that in real well until it's melted, followed by some fat-free Greek yogurt. You could also use fat-free sour cream as well. Then you're gonna just stir that in really well and it is done. And here is dinner tonight. That is a serving, which is roughly one and a half cups of that soup. It is gonna be eight points on green, seven points on blue, and just five on purple. Along with it, we're also having another one of those corn dog muffins. And again, those are three points a piece. So that is gonna make dinner 11 points on green, 10 points on blue, and eight on purple. And that is everything we had this week. We really enjoyed all three of these meals. All three are great for fall time when the weather is starting to cool down a little bit. And as I said, they're also really family friendly too. And my whole family enjoys them. So hopefully you guys will too if you try them. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you on the next one.